Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the weekly Let's Talk Risk newsletter. This week, the US FDA published a warning letter they issued to a leading manufacturer of in vitro devices. Some of these devices are used to detect and diagnose very serious conditions. For example, hepatitis B infection or a heart attack. They're also used to monitor the level of drugs used to treat some of these serious conditions. Now, what caught my eye in this warning letter was that the FDA cited this manufacturer specifically against the risk analysis procedure. And they're talking about how the risk management procedure is not adequate to help the manufacturer assign the right severity ratings. And as a result, they're underestimating the risk of harm. FDA is also citing them for not being able to assign the right severity levels for non-conformances and problems in their CAPA process. This is such an interesting and insightful warning letter that I have decided to write a case study article very soon. This is an example of the type of case study articles you can enjoy as a paid subscriber to the Let's Talk Risk newsletter. And I'm very happy to offer you a very special offer this week. If you upgrade your subscription before April 12th, you can save 20% on annual subscription. Another benefit of a paid subscription is access to my monthly LTR webinars. You'll find a recording of our last monthly webinar below in this newsletter, where we talked about how to create a master harms list for your risk management process using standardized terms and codes. So these are the examples of benefits you can enjoy as a paid subscriber, but there's a lot of content you can still enjoy as a free subscriber. For example, you'll find a recording below of my conversation this week with a patient to understand their perspective as a user of a continuous glucose monitor. As engineers, as quality regulatory professionals, when we understand the perspective of our patients, we have a much better insight about their wants and needs, and we can design our products to meet those needs and wants in a better way. So I hope you are finding value in the content on Let's Talk Risk newsletter, including the weekly knowledge challenge question, which I hope you will try out this week. You will find the answer to the weekly knowledge challenge question from last week. See if you got that right or not. Reach out to me anytime if you have any suggestions for topics or questions in your mind that you would want me to consider in future articles or podcasts. After all, my intention is to offer you tremendous learning experience on Let's Talk Risk. With that, I wish you a very good weekend ahead and look forward to connecting with you next week.